hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we have a new update available for mia1 it's again a leaked file which is based on android 8.1 not sure whether it's a beta 1 or the stable version but these are the software information going to system about phone here you can see model is mia1 android version is 8.1 with a security patch of 5th may 2018 Build number is 8.5.9, previously leaked beta version had build number of 8.4.28 and in this sadly kernel version is still outdated which is 3.18.71 which was also available on Oreo 8.0. And now talking about the installation process, the same file was available few days back that was in fastboot file which had lots of issues while installing and now one of the XDM member made it a TWRP flashable zip. You can flash it using TWRP recovery now and if you guys are not aware about TWRP recovery you can check the description below. At the end of this video I have also shown you how to install this ROM on your MI A1. So now moving on to the change logs. Officially we don't have any information about the change logs but I've been using this ROM since few hours. And I'll tell you what all changes they have done, what all new features available and the bugs. We'll also compare the benchmark results with the previous leaked beta version. First under launcher, I did not find any kind of changes, same old stuff available here also. In which few customizations are available, you can change the icon shape. On this room, you have dark theme availability, if you have any dark wallpaper device theme will be changed to dark and if you are using any kind of light wallpaper, the theme will be change to light or it will be in complete white. On quick setting panels there are no new additions done, same old stuff available over here also, just little bit of transparency which is an android 8.1 feature. You get a new power menu over here which consists of power off, restart and emergency. This is again an 8.1 audio feature. Volt services are working fine, you don't get any volt icon available here but if you make calls then there are no issue in making calls. I found little bit of changes inside the dialer I'm not sure. Now dialer application I think it has been updated. You get all the options like favorite, recents and contact options at the bottom of the dialer application. Talking about camera, camera application which was not working in the previous build and in this build it is working fine. There are no issues in clicking photos or recording videos. Few people were also reporting about picture in picture mode which is not working in this build and if you are not aware about picture in picture mode you can go to settings search for picture in picture and you'll get the list of applications which are supported which also includes YouTube but YouTube does not allow until you have YouTube red subscription. So I just tested on Chrome and when I played a video putting it in full screen then going to the home screen and here picture in picture mode is not working. So I think this may be a bug on this build. Let's see whether it gets fixed in the upcoming build or not. Moving on to settings, here you have all the basic options available. Under display you have ambient display option which consists of wake up screen when you have new notification. Rest all are the basic settings available. Under system you get gestures which have swipe fingerprint for notification which works fine there are no issues jump to camera options are available both of them are working fine and now talking about the fingerprint sensor fingerprint sensor is lightning fast there are no issues in that i did not face any kind of issues till now on fingerprint sensor and sadly there is still no treble support i checked it manually using adb shell so these were the results after checking manually and now moving on to the benchmark results. Here I have used Geekbench application and Antutu Bench application. Towards your left hand side, you can see those were taken with the previous leaked beta version. And you can compare the results over here. And this ROM is pretty stable, can be used as daily driver, battery sets will be updated very soon. Now moving on to the installation process. To install this ROM, you need to have TWRP recovery. If you don't have one, you can check the description below on how to install TWRP recovery. So now let's power off the device first. Once 
once your device is powered off you need to boot into twrp recovery for that whole volume up key and power key together and once the screen is on you can release those buttons once you are in twrp then go to backup first select all the partitions from here swipe to backup i have already taken and make sure you include efs backup also after that take that backup place it on your pc or somewhere else try not to keep it inside the internal memory if you have sd card available copy that backup on sd card and place it over there after that go to wipe advanced wipe select everything from here excluding internal storage swipe to wipe and if you have not placed the rom file place it connect your device to pc place the rom file this is a rom file 8.5.9 version 8.21 so this is a rom file once you have placed it inside internal memory select this swipe to confirm flash and once the process is completed if you want to have twrp recovery intact on your device then you need to flash this or else you can just reboot the system and once your device boots up complete the initial setup and you are good to go so guys if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day